New details now in our investigation into a lack of staffing and equipment to clean the runways at Hopkins during snowstorms. The FAA fined Hopkins almost $750,000 for those violations. Investigator Scott Taylor discovered the person hired to clean the inside of the airport is now in charge of the runways without any airport experience on his resume. Hi, Eric. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, could you just, well, could you stop for a second? I'll That's Hopkins Airport Deputy Commissioner Eric Turner not slowing down to answer my questions about his professional background. Turner hired in 2013 as the airport's maintenance manager in charge of custodial services, beat out five others for the job at a salary of $70,000. I'd like to talk to you about your qualifications. In February of this year, he was appointed the acting deputy commissioner at Hopkins, which put Turner in charge of runways with a salary bump of 20 grand. A month later, we exposed runways weren't being staffed correctly by FAA guidelines during winter storms. After our investigation, the city of Cleveland, which owns Hopkins, was fined by the FAA $735,000. The feds revealed what we already exposed. Hopkins understaffed runways 19 times over the past winter, including in March. Last month, Hopkins responded, telling the FAA there's no specific level of staffing that will guarantee a safe airport. So you did not meet those requirements 19 times. Again, what we didn't meet was full 100% staffing. If we missed it by one, I don't consider that to be a serious violation. The FAA does. They're the experts. And we'll discuss that with the FAA. During my interview, interim Hopkins Airport Director Fred Zabo didn't know if Eric Turner had a college degree. We did some digging and discovered Turner doesn't have one. We verified that with Kent State University that he only spent two years on campus. Turner was honest on his city application, listing just two years as a business major at Kent State. We checked with the city who showed us this document. It verifies Turner's education, but the city checked off, yes, that Turner had a diploma and a degree. You have uh, no college degree. Eric Turner's resume it includes two years as a manager at Office Depot, operations manager overseeing 23 e-check facilities, and district manager at Office Max. No work experience at any airport. Turner was appointed to his current position by former airport director Ricky Smith, who left Hopkins months before the FAA handed down their huge fine. We did some checking. Over at Akron Canton Airport, Eric Turner's similar position has a man with 28 years of runway experience. At Pittsburgh's airport, their guy has 15 years of working at the airport. Detroit, 27 years of airport experience. In Columbus, Ohio, the man hired in June, 20 plus years at airports. How is Eric Turner doing at Hopkins Airport? We can't find any performance evaluation in his employee file. Don't you think the public deserves a comment from the guy who's in charge of the runways at the airport? That was uh, Scott Taylor reporting, and we are going to send a copy of Scott's story to the FAA. This week, Eric Turner and Director Fred Zabo declined our request for an on-camera interview.